last five to six years, uh, most of investors uh, went towards developing a so-called high-end residential or a lot of retails and, and a lot of commercial areas, but without any proper urban planning. So now some markets are totally saturated. There is a huge demand for low-income housing, but there is not enough offer for that. Another, I would say, trend which is uh, noticeable is that uh, since the past, or let's say, two years, a lot of uh, industries are now uh, settling down in Vietnam, especially you know, from Japan and from, uh, from uh, Western Europe and, and the USA. And now there is more and more, I would say, desire from these companies to go green, so at least to optimize the operation. There is uh, somehow a minimum legal framework, at least for energy efficiency. However, it has never been enforced. It was initially released in 2005, but so the government doesn't have the capacity, so it remains like, I would say, totally inoperant, I would say, and, and not enforced. So, but the Vietnamese government knows that they, that they have to develop something in this regard, so it was uh, good news to, uh, to learn that uh, the, the Vice Prime Minister, for the Prime Minister, launched the Green Growth Strategy. The Ministry of Construction now is uh, revising. I would see the energy efficiency building codes. There are plenty of donors coming in, so hopefully they will have enough money to finalize this draft, which is supposedly be uh, now almost finished, and to build capacity, I would say at central, but also at uh, local uh, level. At the same time, we're also working with the Ministry of Construction because they aim at defining some kind of green building standards that will, uh, in the first stage, remain a voluntary, but all the time, I would say, might be just integrated into the building codes, and they want also to develop this uh, green building uh, roadmap. I think that adding uh, further rating tools is going to create more confusion, because we think that rating tool needs to be adapted to the local context, through uh, the climate conditions, through the, um, the governmental and, and legal framework, as well as sticking with the, uh, the local practices. So that's why I would say rating tool needs to be uh, as relevant as possible. They need to learn from uh, what kind of incentive strategy can work and uh, which kind of code also are relevant uh, on uh, how to, to enforce them. So it's basically on, on this level that uh, they should be learning about the strategy, about the policy, about the codes and about law enforcement and capacity building likely.